Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. All right, let me uh, talk about this because I wanted to wait a couple of days. I wanted to let, you know, the, uh, you know, good fella Tory and Rain, uh, Dr. Boyce Watkins, let those guys get their thoughts in on the whole, you know, uh, Patrick Peterson dynamic and basically his blatantly ignorant thoughts towards black women. You know, at the end of the day, you know, black people's biggest enemy have been letting everybody know how they think and how they feel about a certain situation and blatantly not being able to keep their mouth shut and just basically saying ignorant shit in front of mixed company. Like I said, this is why a lot of the outsiders and what I mean by the outsiders, the non-blacks, because like I said, I don't use that terminology, people of color. The only person of color is me. So take it however you want. I don't include other groups in my category because they don't do it with us. And for you niggas that love to fight for people that don't look like you, fuck you too. Weak motherfuckers. But um, anyway, let me talk about uh, Patrick Patterson. Now, basically he's married to a white woman. So he feels like he reached the all-time goal, the ultimate achievement, because a lot of black men have that, that weak mentality because we have been taught to believe that other people are better than us. So when we're able to be around them, that makes us feel like we special, that we've achieved some kind of ultimate goal. But me, I don't think like that. I feel like it's a pleasure for other people that don't look like me to be around me. Because at the end of the day, it's usually a guy like me that's the star attraction that people want to gravitate to, not the other way around. Nobody cares about being around Roger Goodell, except Jay-Z, because he has that weak black man mentality. Nobody cares about being around Adam Silver, which I have no problem with Adam Silver. I think post David Stern, Adam Silver has done an exceptional job with the NBA. And you have to give him credit. It's not about with the David Stern NBA era. It was about David Stern because he thought people came to see him. And like Brian Gumble called him out on, he had a slave master mentality. Adam Silver is a dude. He's, I like the fact that you rarely see the dude. He only shows up during the playoffs or the NBA finals. David Stern, he always was everywhere and he wanted people to see him. But nevertheless, let's get back to Patrick Peterson and his ignorant comments. Now, you can take one look at Patrick Patterson and see that he is a dark-skinned black man. So in all in, 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 in reality, more than likely his mother is a dark-skinned black woman, or she could be a light-skinned black woman. I don't know what his mother looked like, but apparently his mother is black. Now, with that being said, when guys like him say ignorant shit like that, it just shows basically a lack of intelligence. At the end of the day, nobody cares about him being with a white woman when it's all said and done, but due to the fact that he's trying to attack another group of people just to make himself feel better and basically make it seem like being with a white woman is better than a black woman. And let's just face the fact that's absolutely false. Absolutely, inequivocally false. You can marry whoever you want to marry. But when you try to shit on another group of people, which happens all the time with us, Excuse me, you guys, I had to uh, get in another lane. But when you basically trying to shit on another group of people, you know what I'm saying, to make yourself feel like you're better, that's just, that's just ignorant. And if you ask me, the NBA should consider fining Patrick Patterson. 
Because if he had said something about gay people, I guarantee you, you would hear you would hear people saying that he need to be fine. So where's the self-righteous media at now? And see, this proves my point about what I'm saying about the lamestream media. It's okay for you to attack a black person because you're not going to receive the backlash you would receive if you attack somebody else. Let him say something about Jewish people or somebody or somebody gay. He gonna get it, you know what I'm saying? He gonna get it full throttle. He gonna get it both barrels. But because he attacked black women, then it's all good in the hood. But if you ask me, he should be fined. Because that's an offensive uh, comment. That's a uh, racially insensitive comment. But you know they ain't gonna do they ain't gonna do shit because as I said before, look who he made a derogatory comment about. Like I said, it's because of black people why we're fair game and why everybody feel like they can say what they want to say about black people. But you're not gonna do it on my platform. Because if you're not black and you disrespect my people, I'm going to check your ass. And depending on how how disrespectful you are, that'll determine the amount of how I'm going to check your ass. But as far as Patrick Patterson go, the NBA should at least, at the very least, find him. You know, real talk. He issued an apology, but people not having it. And I'm going to say this. And I'm going to make this very clear. Look, if you are a black man or a black woman that date outside your race or you marry somebody that it is not, uh, you know, the same ethnicity as you, that's fine. But you don't have to get on social media and say, hey, I prefer this group of people over black men. Keep that shit to yourself. Because at the end of the day, when you say that, you still look stupid. And you come across as ignorant. This your boy Town Biz. I'm out.